Meet Solaris. Built by the Hudson River Maritime Museum in Kingston, New York, Solaris is the only solar-powered boat in operation on the Hudson River. It was designed from a concept by David Borton, who wanted a commercial solar-powered electric motor vessel that meets all U.S. Coast Guard regulations for commercial passenger carrying vessels. Scott and I are big fans of green energy and we're really intrigued by this idea. We decided to take a tour to check it out. The vessel captain graciously agreed to an interview so that we could learn more about this exciting and upcoming alternative. I can't hear it. You can't hear the motor? Uh-uh, I can't hear the motor. You won't hear it. Well, actually now, this is about as much as you hear, because it's in reverse, it's cavitating a little bit. Okay. I tell everybody we sneak up on kayaks yeah. and small turtles. <laughs> what about big turtles? Yeah. What about I can't hear? <laughs> What's your name? Okay, I'm Jack Weeks, uh, captain of the Solaris, but also board president of the Hudson River Maritime Museum. And what boat are we on right now? We're on Solaris. Okay, tell me about this boat. Okay, Solaris is a totally solar tour boat. It was built at the museum about three years ago. Okay. And uh, it is the first boat of its type that does not plug into the grid to receive Coast Guard certification for commercial use in the U.S. And it may, we haven't found any other in the world. Okay. Now, in the last couple of years, I think there's been more that have come along, but we're, we're the first. And it um, took us a year to build it. It took us a year to get Coast Guard certification. Um, that was the hard part, just because they hadn't done it. Before. Right, they didn't know it's a, yeah. And um, we're, this is our kind of our first real year because last year was COVID. So yeah. this year we're really starting to pick up and the word's getting out. Um, it's a wonderful boat. It, uh, the endurance on this is awesome. Um, right when we got on board this morning at 8.30, we have actually less, we had less juice in our batteries than we do now. So we, this is our third or fourth tour today. And so even though we've been going, we're putting, and it's a sunny day, we're putting power into the batteries. How many people can you fit on this boat? Coast Guard has certified us for uh, 28, but okay. right now we have reduced because of COVID, we're taking 14 or so. Okay. So this is an open boat. Yep. Do you have a closed one that somebody interested in doing like the Great Loop would be able to take a solar power boat? We do. We do. Well, it's not we. Um, <clears throat> the guy who commissioned us to build this boat named David Borton, and he built some prototypes all under the name Solar Sal. Okay. So you can go online and check out Solar Sal Boats. And so right now he is doing a production run of these boats. Uh, the hulls are being built in uh, Florida and they're being fitted out up in Maine, Belfast, okay. Maine. They're not commercial. Now this is a commercial boat. Right. So they're more for, you know, the private. Personal uh, use. Personal yeah. use. Boats. And so quite frankly, they would be perfect for the, uh, the loop. The, this boat here, as you can see, it's it's a wonderful boat. It's you know it's it's safe and everything. But the reality is, I probably wouldn't take this offshore. Yeah. Um, with this roof here, it's like a big sail, and if we got into forty or fifty knot winds, you know, it, it would be a handful. Mm -hmm. But for the loop, now you get some good weather on the loop, I know. But for a loop, this would be an ideal boat to take. And he and his son built a boat in Seattle, Washington area, and they are right now in the middle of going up the Inland Passage, uh, the Inside Passage to Alaska with one of these boats. So what is the range when you have it fully charged? Well, um, we've never run out. I can tell you I drove it at night for eight hours, completely dark, and we only used half our battery. So I guess a rough rule of thumb would be 16 hours at complete, you know. So it, 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 you have good range. Is there any, um, so let's say it's a cloudy day and you're not uh, getting no sun. Problem. We, no problem. It, it'll charge in a cloudy day, just okay. not as fast. Okay. Yeah. So the ones that are being made for the loop, the production boats, how big yeah, are those? They're 25 feet. Okay, so still pretty small. They're small, yeah. They're not, you know, if you really want a comfortable, big, 
like luxurious like boat, it probably we there there aren't any in production yeah. right now. But the twenty five footers yeah. would have a little cabin, yes. probably a V berth, and then the rest would be open with you know, there'd be sides that would come down to protect them from the rain. And so they'd have an area with a galley and okay. seats and stuff. And do you know what the, um, do you have any idea what the cost of those is going to be? Well, um, sort of. Uh, this boat costs us 500000 to build, but it's a one-off and it's right. a wooden boat. The, those other boats are going to be fiberglass and it's a production run. And he wants to do them for under 100000 Okay. Okay. And that'll be trailer roll, I assume? I think so, yeah. Um, but I would suggest you go to Solar Sal Boats okay. online and you can find out all about them. Now, I'm just promoting this guy because he's been a good customer to us. Right. I mean, we're a museum and, you know, obviously this is what we use at the museum. But he, the guy, we built it for the guy, David Morton. He, uh, at the end of the build, he said, I'll, do you want to buy it? Go, well, we're just a museum. We can't afford it. He goes, I'll make you a deal you can't afford. <laughs> and you can't turn down. And so he did. And um, he's a real gentleman. The guy, the people that are building those boats are, are really great. And, uh, well worth checking in. Okay. So I noticed when you started the motor here, I didn't even hear it. No, you won't hear the motor. So it's kind of like sailing. It's like sailing. Uh, it, uh, the hull is like a sailboat, it's long and narrow, very slippery hull, um, a lot of ballast, and um, it feels like a sailboat because it kind of rocks, but um, yeah, if you're a sailor, you'll feel very comfortable on it. Anything else you want to add in? Um, no, but I would say this, um, when you're doing the loop, stop in at the Hudson River Maritime Museum. Uh, we have uh, wonderful docs, good people to help you. The money goes to help support a not-for-profit, which we do, children, you know, kids sailing and boat building. And we have really good showers and restrooms. <laughs> and <laughs> ice, and ice, the most important How about thing. internet? That's the only thing. Oh, and we have internet, too. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so we've got it all. So I think you'll see we have a lot of loopers who stop down. So. We loved it. And we look forward to seeing the future of these quiet, clean, and modern boats.